It's like I've told you types about a thousand times now. We know we can't hunt round here, all right? We're minding our own business. No reason to hassle the weaklings. You mean you ain't here to run us off? We're getting pretty sick of it. Someone sighting the main, or in the worst case, is hunting us for sport. Dunno. We all seem to have come down with the same disease. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? We're a bad horror show, alright? We seem to be the runts. The mistakes. You types call us thin bloods. I say we're all equally screwed. I just come to town for the surf tourney. Seems like years ago. It's well been about six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AM. That's where I met her. She had a natural beauty. Not like all the plastic dolls littering the sand. Her name was Lily. I remember introducing myself. The way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone. She tried to tell me what she was, but I didn't understand. And so she showed me. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her and left, never really knowing what I was. I realise now how she must have felt. So here I am now, a mystery to myself. Well, I hope you had better luck than I did. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. The only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. Clinically, yes. But honestly, I don't know. I suppose I'd have moved on by now if I didn't think she'd show up one of these nights. There's a lot I've got left to say to her. Aye. Most of them just recently arrived in LA. Got chased off by the Sabbath or some such thing from their home cities. They're more in the dark than I am. They're a good bunch, but... Well, they've been through a lot. It's affected them. That's what Lily tried to tell me. But what I don't understand are the rules, and the terms, and the reasons some of them are at our throats claiming we're harbingers of the apocalypse. That's what I want to know. Thin blood. It's thick enough for me. Thin blood. Sounds familiar. Is that one of those tropical diseases? Hmm. I know I've heard that before. Oh, that girl. Nice girl. First decent human being I've seen in here for years. Not like all the junkies and crazies I normally see. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah. Weird. She left a tip, but she didn't order a thing. Yeah, she looked so hungry, too. Just sat there all night with a full glass of water in front of her, talking about this and that. She seemed lonely, a little scared, so I let her stay in the booth until we closed. She left some stuff here. You seem to know her. Why don't you give it back to her if you run into her? Hope you've slipped into something comfortable. I know I have. 
If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing... Welcome to Kilpatrick 24-Hour Bail Bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? Huh? Oh, I, I see what you're yapping about. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. Keymaster, huh? Might be worth trying. Arthur Kilpatrick, the Santa Monica Keymaster. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. It sounds kind of like a bad horror movie. I gotta have a few other bondsmen to keep the place open 24 hours. Plus a bounty hunter. I pull the graveyard shift because that's when all the crazy shit happens in Santa Monica. <laughs> you betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting myself back in the day. Takes a solid set of brass balls to make a good bounty hunter, I'll tell you that much. Yep, damn good. His name's Carson, and he's great at what he does when he wants to do it. I can't seem to find him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. I see. Well, I don't feel right cutting Carson loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Tell you what, since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. Great, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment 1, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card. That'll let you in. Sure, pal. What is it? Yeah, they're saying there was a murder down by the pier, just like the one the other day down in Long Beach. Just vicious. Tore him up. They're saying it's a serial killer. Test between friggin' chicken and the other leading chicken flavored products. Let's listen for which one they prefer. Ma'am, care to participate in a taste test? Here, try this leading brand of chicken. Oh, oh my gosh! Is that we go fish? Now, try this. Oh, oh, this is some good f chicken. What is this? Sir, take a test for me? Sure. Um, oh, oh. seriously, job these up your ass. Here, try this one. Hmm, hey. Mmm, mother -fucking great chicken right there. What is this? It's friggin' chicken. This is cat, right? Are you feeding me cat? Try this. Holy fuck. Fuck, that's good. What the fuck is this shit? Nine out of ten people preferred friggin' chicken over the competition. Why? Cause that's some good fucking chicken. I mean, friggin' chicken. Pungent sewage of hell seeping into the cracks of this putrid purgatory. Soon it will wash over and carry you all to the damnation sea.
Dr. Bhagupta, the operator. Dr. Bhagupta, the operator. You next up for the needle? Hmm? Your donation could save a life, you know. Oh, but isn't it a little late for altruism? I don't think you're here to give blood at all. I don't buy it, Jack. I bet you're here to take blood. Am I right? Right down to business. None of this pretend I don't drink blood shit. Very refreshing to find a decisive customer. I respect that. So, what'll it be? If you have to ask... Employees only. Them's the rules of the queen bitch herself. She did, huh? Queen bitch told me never to let anyone back there. I remember her repeating it over and over in that cold, pretentious voice of hers. Now serving number 75? Number 75. Need a fix? Employees only. Now serving number... What are you doing back here? Oh, you here for the special sauce? Okay, stupid question, Phil. She's in the freezer. Today's code is pink, Phil. It's, uh, moon landing, uh, 1969.
of it on my tongue, sliding down my throat. The hot flash in my brain lighting up my body. I can smell it everywhere. Blood. Let me go. It's painful. Like I'm going to die. It's calling. Never felt like this before. Let me go. I can smell it. I have to have it. Let me go! Huh? Huh? You don't look well at all. Oh, sweet mother of God! The heat. Mm, it's never been so satisfying. All of it. I drank until I heard his heart stop and I was sucking on a dry, dead artery. It was euphoric. But I've... I've killed him. I've never killed anyone before. What happened? What came over me? <laughs> Beast? What is that? Why couldn't I stop myself? Why did it feel so right? I tried to steal some blood. I heard they sold it. I was hungry, and I can't hunt in town. They caught me, and I was strapped, trapped. Thought I'd never escape, but I killed a man. I have to get out of here. Flower? My name's Lily, if that's what you mean. E? You know E? I... How do you know E? I tried to tell E about his condition, but he was so furious at me for what I'd made him into, he wouldn't listen. A thin blood, from what I've been told, is a vampire whose blood is weaker than most. Rolf, my sire, told me some vampires consider thin bloods a bad omen and want them destroyed. Rolf wasn't a thin blood, and apparently I am. I don't know why. Rolf abandoned me. His group wouldn't take me in. They said I was a liability. He left me with so many questions. And I did the same thing to E, but I didn't want to leave E. He forced me out of his life. I... I should go. I have to get out of here. Maybe out of the city. Soon. E... doesn't hate me anymore? I'll go see him. Thank you. Oh, about tonight, what I did? Please, don't tell E. It's not my fault. I couldn't control it. I've never done anything like this before. I'm no killer. Why'd you have to go and let that bitch out? There's one less bill in the world now. Why'd you have to let her go and eat him, huh? Now I'll never get to do in that bastard myself. Well, you know what? No blood for you. No more!
up there. Through that chain link gate and up those stairs. Those men you are looking for. Never mind. You wouldn't understand. Brought my Lily back. She told me all about what happened. I don't know why you helped this, but your blood's worth bottling. I'll never let her go again. Thank you. We're gonna be getting out of LA soon. Too dangerous here. Rosa told us something big's about to happen, and I don't want to be here when the Jack comes out of the box. Take that for what you will. <laughs> 